Those are feathers. That is like almost a baby duck. Uh, this is the raw ducks fresh from the farm. Welcome to Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin, and today I'm joined by my dear friend, Kili Oncho, Foodie Mama. Thanks for being here. And today we're in Pateros, Metro Manila. This is known as the capital of Balut. So, Ki, what, what is Balut? Well, it's a fertilized duck egg that is boiled. I've seen some pictures. I've never tried it. This is my third trip to the Philippines, and I think that, uh, you know, I need to try it. So, where better than here in the capital of Balut? Pateros. So we're gonna we're gonna be eating all things balut today. It's gonna be a great episode. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. Let's go eat some balut. So the streets of Pateros are just lined with these stalls selling all kinds of balut. So there's different varieties, and then they also have these pink ones, which are salted egg. You can see one open right there and they look like just a normal egg but uh, once you open it up you'll find out that it's not uh, your typical egg so balut has different kinds um, there's this penoy higop which is a very soupy one it's like an egg custard then we have the penoy tuyo which is the dry one this is the balut saputi which is already the 18 days the best balut that you can get 18 days 18 days, that's the perfect time that you crack it open and eat it. So before we actually dig into the balut, we're going to see how they're made and we're gonna have to take uh, one of these little trikes to the spot, very Filipino. Let's go. Don't <laughs> <Okay. No ball. laughs> Somehow on this little trike, it's got a side cart. Maybe got one, two, three, four. Five of us. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick trike ride and we've come to the supplier of Balut here in Pateros or one of them. So they've got an incubator inside. We're gonna see sort of how they are made. So I'm here with Tare, the Balut queen of Pateros. <laughs> and uh, can you explain to me a little bit like the process? So step one, it must be fresh. Fresh, fresh duck's egg. This is the... Raw duck's egg, fresh from the farm. Almost like a big closet full of them and there's almost like maybe 15 of these in here. It is a little bit warm in there so they sit in here for 17 days just kind of incubating on these drying racks here. Turn the egg so that I know, it will grow in perfectly. Evenly, okay. Even. Like an x-ray. Uh, yeah, it looks like an x-ray. So the trays are taken from the closets here and then put on top of this and this is kind of like the x-ray station so you can see that they light right up and then some of them you can see are more translucent than others. So this is kind of just to check which have been fertilized, which ones will be actually balut in the end. But then the other eggs are still used, uh, they're still eaten, you really need to check these. So they have a second area to, to check them. Fertilized balut, this one. Oh, so you can't, oh, Take okay. a look the embryo inside. All right, you can see yeah. the embryo. embryo yeah. yeah. Balut. Ready to sell. Ready to sell, yeah. yeah. 17 days. Old. Okay. This one, very nice. Ay, no, no. Oh. <laughs> This one, this is not good. So just for a further inspection, they have this little light box here. You put it right up to the side and you can see this one, not balut. It's uh, it's too translucent. But then this one, you can see that the light is not shining through. That is going to be the balut. So there is a, a duck embryo in there. Inspection x-ray to make sure your balut is growing properly before they can be taken to the shop and sold. So these ones are around 17 days. They're perfect, ready to go. And, uh, well, I guess now the only thing left to do is try one out. So we've come to Tere's store. She's got all the balut here. She was just telling me that about 28 days until it actually hatches into a duck. It needs to maintain the temperature around 38 degrees, but Manila is around 38 degrees. So if these sit here too long, uh, she might have some ducks running around the shop. This is seriously one of the Philippines' most famous foods, right? Yeah, street food. Typical street food. So we've got a bucket full of them here. So this is the 17, eight, uh, 17 days old. It's very hot. They're very hot. So how do you cook them? Boil? 
Boil. Boil them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very hot. Oh How God. many minutes? Book? More than one hour. More than one hour. Oh, you hour. boil them That's for why one it's hour. Very hot. So we have to crack it open. Yeah. On, on this the side. Top, yes. Okay. So just. <laughs> it's not too solid. Okay. And then just All peel right. back. Peel it off. Yeah. Yep. You can see right away that it's embryo inside. Oh, that's the soup. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, it's so delicious. that's good stuff too. We have yeah. to put salt first. Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, you show me, Kit. So just like Shaolong Bao, right? Shaolong Bao, <laughs> soup dumplings. You open things and then you put oh, something. Bit. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's very, very juicy. There's a little film on the top, but I can already see the embryo going on in there. But we're going to shoot this back, I guess. <laughs> no, seriously, it is. It tastes like a duck stock. Very good. Yum. Okay. Very rich. I'm, now I'm just worried about the texture. I don't know. I know now. I know about the taste, but I don't know about the texture. So that's gonna be my next thing I gotta overcome here. So just keep peeling it off. Okay. Look at that, guys. You can see the. I don't even know what's going on there. <laughs> Something. That's the white part. That's the white part and the yellow part. That's Product all we can identify. Identify. And the egg yolk. Okay. Is there even an egg yolk? Where the is. Oh, oh. Karina was just telling me this is the, the perfect balut. Why is this one perfect? It's perfect balut because it's coated by. Do you see the white one? It's the coated white. by this white yeah. part? Yeah. You okay. cannot see the hair. You cannot see the hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little bit of salt. And then vinegar. Vinegar too? Yeah. Okay. A little bit vinegar. How do I bite you this? Open it with, yeah, you just bite it. Yeah. Okay. Vinegar. Oh. Okay. Wouldn't be the Philippines if there was no vinegar. The whole thing? Yeah. All right, my first balut. Tastes good. Mmm. Mm hmm Such a strange texture. It's really hard. If you're a balut expert, if you know that it's already hard, you don't eat the stone. I that's ate the, the white, stone. That's the white part. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> You have to experience that. <laughs> it's like half creamy, half crunchy. Whoa. This is something I could see myself eating like 2 a.m. after a long night of drinking. It's like 10 a.m. right now, so it is what it is. It's the texture that uh, takes a little getting used to. That's just like a protein bomb. There's a lot of protein in that. So we're gonna try another one. What's this one called? Pan Penoy. Penoy, all right. Yeah. Okay. Unfertilized oh, uh, egg. Unfertilized Ducks egg, yeah. The, this one, Higupen. When we were just at the shop, we saw the ones that were really translucent. This is that one. And Key and Tere just keep explaining as the wet one, which doesn't make it sound very appetizing, to be honest. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, so these hot. are really, really hot. This is the wet one. So unfertilized. This looks more like a <laughs> what I'm used to eating. This looks like an onsen egg or something. Yeah, yeah, that's Just it. Slurp it back. All right, you can see. Look at how juicy it is. It looks like an onsen egg. Well, I'm losing some of it. Okay, yeah, let's try. You can show the inside. Yeah, that's the wet one. It's like a runny, runny onsen egg. But I've gotten down to a part where there's some actually cooked egg. So I got to peel away the shell a little bit. This is a messy job here, eating balut. Go for some. Shower of vinegar, plenty of vinegar. Oh, that's creamy. I actually think I prefer the balut more than this one. I guess I'm having one more. Honestly, the soup. Mm. That's the best part for sure. Key. What is that? Black part right there. It's part. What? <laughs> what is this? It looks like duck. feathers. Yeah, that's it. Is that feathers? Yes. So there's there's actually feathers developing yeah, in this the, one. Yeah, that's the best oh one to show the camera. Oh my god. Really developed. Maybe too much? Or is that still edible? Look at this. Those are feathers. That is like almost a baby duck. Are you going to help me eat this one? You can do it. No, no, here, split. You can have the feathers. Well, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'll have this half. Here, I'll give you some of my vinegar. Uncovered some feathers, maybe a little bit of beak in there. Here. I'm saying be good to me. <laughs> Alright, he's having the feathers. Mm. Super 
Oh, oh, oh. oh look, you already little... finished this one. Let's yeah, slurp it. Key is a true Filipino. I've got a long way to go before I'm anywhere close to that. You get like a crunchy, like maybe the start of a bone or the start of a beak or maybe an eye socket. <coughs> A little feather in my throat. <laughs> Jare's shop is super popular. I mean, there's people coming and going. Some people are literally bringing their own carton to fill up with a dozen balloons. This is seriously a Filipino delicacy. They love it. They're eating it up like crazy. Jare, that's the best balloon I've ever had. Really? Oh, Thank nice you so much. You. Bye -bye. So apparently, you don't just eat balloon boil, but they also cook it into some Filipino dishes. We're getting in a trike again. This time, again, five people, but uh, we've got a got a child on board there, I don't know if you can see. So we're gonna have uh, balut cooked in many ways, adobo, sizzling, crispy, and spicy. You can see a list of all the different dishes they're making with the balut. So adobo, crispy, spicy, sizzling, sweet and sour. Yeah, they have it all. So if I haven't mentioned yet, uh, pateros is called uh, pateros because people here are racing ducks, which are generally called pato. This is crazy, I, I, I didn't realize that you could eat balut in these styles so starting over here we've got the crispy and it's the entire thing the entire balut in there i was literally just told you're only supposed to have maximum two balut per day and i've already had my quota so we're just per gonna week. go per, per week <laughs> per week so i've had my weekly <laughs> balut quota mm. honestly this is so much better <laughs> than the regular balut. Super crispy. I love that vinegar. A bit of spice in there. I could eat that. That is perfect drinking food. Balut adobo. Most famous Filipino street food and most famous Filipino food. That's safe to say, right, Key? Yeah. We're not making this stuff up here, folks. This is real feathers. This thing was about to fly. It's like a really thick, sweet sauce. With a crispy garlic. Yeah, crispy garlic. So good. This makes it so much more appetizing. Up next, sweet and sour. This one's also deep fried. Try to cut that in half. Can't believe this is just like boiled eggs. I've never even thought to have boiled eggs sweet and sour. Honestly, a really good idea, but why not just have semi-fertilized duck boiled eggs with sweet and sour? There's so many random things inside that I am not aware of. Like, Key, what the <laughs> hell is that? Mm. Mm. That's great. This is perfect with rice. Yeah, you could cover anything in that sauce and it would taste good. And we've got the, the spicy, covered in spicy sauce, deep fried again. I'm sorry to my Filipino viewers, and I'm sorry, Key, <laughs> and all you balut lovers, but there's nothing appetizing about breaking into that and seeing a bunch of black Feathers. I've got like 95% fried coating and a little bit of yolk. Mm. Tastes like a sweet and sour sauce too. A little spicy. A lot better than chili. Mm. Like actual chili. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a chili. This is my first time eating balut. You mean you didn't try the, the original flavor earlier? No, I didn't try. So you're just Sorry, gonna go guys. straight for the sweet and sour, huh? So how many balloons that you had today? Do you remember? I don't know. I don't know anymore. So Too many, many hairs. <laughs> so which part did you have to eat? Not that's the, the fun part about the balloon. You don't know. Oh, that's so hard. Right? I can taste a little bit like egg yolk with the hair. So. <laughs> that's all I taste. <laughs> All right, balut dish number five. This is quite the presentation when they brought it out. This one is the balut sizzling. So brought it out on the sizzling hot plate. You just get like all kinds of strange colors and textures and patterns in there. I'm gonna go for this piece, some veggies. Mm, hot. Oh, I got some feathers there too. It's something you gotta try in the Philippines. This is like a very quintessential Filipino 
street food. Yeah. And this place, Dos Hermanas, has all kinds of interesting ways to try it. So if you're not brave enough for the original, maybe come here and try it, some of their unique flavors. So this is um, the dessert, it's called inutak. So inutak comes from the word utak, which means brains, because it resembles the, oh, yeah? the brain. But it's actually just... It's glutinous rice cake yeah. with coconut. Okay. And you should be able to eat it with um, ice cream. Specialty dishes in Pateros. Oh, okay. So yeah. let's try this with the ice cream. In. So go for a little, I'm gonna go for a spoonful and then a spoonful of the inutak, which you can see is like toasted on top here, or baked with a nice crispy layer. It should be very gooey and so Yeah, very gooey. So that's the glutinous rice. Finally something I want to eat. Mmm. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Mm. It's like hot mochi. Really gooey. It coats your mouth completely. Wow. It's sticky. Yeah, it's still hot. That's so good. Mmm. Mm. He is going to be taking the other 16 balut that we have. Back home to her family, just so you know, we're not wasting it. We got a whole tub of ice cream here. When it's still warm. Yeah. Mm. That is damn good. Thank you so much. See you next time. Thank Delicious you. food here at Dos Hermanas. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow, so friendly. The people here in yeah. the Philippines are just some of the friendliest in the world. We've got plenty, plenty of leftover <laughs> balut. What an interesting day. My first time, everyone was telling me, Luke, you gotta try a balut, and I was putting it off. I was a little reluctant today, but I'm not gonna lie, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, okay? See? <laughs> it's all right, especially if you have it covered in sweet and sour sauce, and then it's really good. Huge thank you to Key. Make sure to check out her channel. Pop up on the screen here or down in the description box. Subscribe, check out her videos. Thank you so much for taking me around today. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye. Do it one more time.